nice to be here. I'm just privileged, feel so privileged and proud to be here with all of you today. Um, it's, it's really great. My name is Kimberly McCullough. I'm the legislative director with the ACLU of Oregon. I want to tell you a little bit about the ACLU before I get into everything else, just so you know, because not everybody does. Um, ACLU has been around for over 100 years. We've been on the front lines of pretty much every civil rights and civil liberties issue in the country. Um, we're a nonpartisan, nonprofit organization. We work on free speech, racial, racial justice, prisoners' rights, human rights, um, humane police practices, privacy, religious liberty, reproductive rights, LGBT rights, immigrant rights, and much, much more. We believe these rights are fundamental to a free society, and that's why we fight every day across the country in the courts and in the legislator, le legislatures and all through, also through public education. As I'm sure you all agree, the war on marijuana is a failure. It has needlessly ensnared hundreds of thousands of people in the criminal justice system at a tremendous cost. More than half of all drug-related offenses in the state of Oregon are for marijuana. Over the last decade, Oregon police have arrested and cited more than 95,000 Oregonians for marijuana possession. That's the equivalent of arresting or citing every single person in the entire city of Hillsboro. In 2010, we spent over $50 million enforcing marijuana laws. What's more, the war on marijuana has been enforced along color lines. Even though black and white Oregonians use marijuana at about the same rate, black Oregonians are roughly two times more likely to be cited or arrested for marijuana offenses. And some areas of Oregon are actually even worse than that. In Lane County, it's 3.5 times more likely for doing the same thing at the same rate as everybody else. Last November, Oregon voters said enough is enough. Our money and resources should be spent on measures that actually keep our communities safe, like investing in investigating serious crimes and reinvesting in public health programs, including drug treatment. Rather than wasting time and money clogging our courts and jails and destroying lives and families, the people of Oregon voted to legalize and regulate marijuana. At the same time, what the voters absolutely did not say is let's throw medical marijuana users under the bus. People who are sick need access to their medication. Let me say that again. People who are sick need access to their medication. The ACLU was right there with you fighting for the medical marijuana program and we will continue to fight to protect it. Yeah. The voters also did not say endanger our privacy and over-regulate marijuana. Yeah. Yet some of the proposals that have been made in the Oregon legislature this session would do just that if enacted into law. As the legislative director for the ACLU, I'm down in the Capitol every day. I've been fighting very, very hard to ensure the privacy of our medical patients, the privacy of our recreational users, and to make sure that these new regulations don't just simply create another method of criminalizing marijuana use. I'm also absolutely dedicated to work with Representative Frederick um, and anybody else who wants to get involved to expunge all nonviolent marijuana related convictions from Oregon residents. It makes absolutely no sense to legalize marijuana and not clear the records of people with marijuana offenses. No Oregonian should be serving time in prison for marijuana and no Oregonian should have to suffer the collateral consequences of having a conviction for marijuana for one more day. I wanna tell you now unequivocally, your voice is extremely important and it's very powerful in Salem. When I'm down in the Capitol, I hear legislators regularly talk about the communications that they get from the people of Oregon. It actually does make a difference when you sit down and write a letter, particularly when you write it in your own words. So please look up your legislators, look them up online, email them, tell them what you think. Tell them to enact fair and safe guidelines for Measure 91 and hold them accountable. Tell them to honor the will of the voters who said it was time for a new approach to marijuana, to honor the privacy of Oregonians who use marijuana, 
to expunge marijuana convictions and to protect the medical program. I also just, I have to do this. I wanna encourage you to support the ACLU. We need your support. Um, membership is as little as $5 for students. It's really easy to do. Just look us up online, ACLU of Oregon. That helps make our voice stronger. We will continue to fight this fight because we believe the criminal justice system is broken. We want to end not just the war on marijuana, but the war on drugs more generally. The drug war has failed to improve public safety and health. It's placed an unprecedented number of people behind bar bars, and it's severely eroded our constitutional rights. All that search and seizure law, all of those ways that the government invades our privacy, so much of that has been done in the name of fighting the war on drugs instead of actually helping the American people. So together, I believe we can end the drug war. We can reverse the tide of mass incarceration and protect our constitutional rights. Thank you.